I made a mascot horror game in just 24 hours. After seeing games like Poppy Playtime and Garden of Ban Ban get so popular, I decided that I needed to make my own. Mascot horror refers to games featuring mostly cute characters that have a dark twist and try to harm the player. These types of games specifically market towards little kids so they can sell their plushies and merch and make bajillions of dollars. And since I also want to make bajillions of dollars, I figured I'd make my own. Before the 24 hour countdown began, the only thing I did was plan out what the actual game would be about. And this was a lot more difficult than I thought because I wanted something that wouldn't be entirely childlike and stupid like some other mascot horror games, but I also wanted it to be set in like the big scary facility. After zoning out and scrolling through some of my older YouTube comments, I got the best idea ever. So I'm reading through some of the comments on my video from two weeks ago and this guy just commented the word meat, like little, j just the word and just like that it hit me. I wanted to make the game take place in a meat processing facility because what sounds scarier than falling in a meat grinder? If I chop you up in a meat grinder and the only thing that comes out that's left of you is your eyeball, you're, you're probably dead! I also wanted the antagonist to be a giant anthropomorphic slab of meat because I, I, I don't know, it just sounds cool. Now it was time to get started on the game. I fired up Unreal Engine where I started off designing a quick level. I then made the player, which was pretty easy using Unreal Engine's pre-made first person template. I grabbed a few packs from the asset store and started off making a giant work area, a few dimly lit hallways, and a big main room where the meat grinders would be. I'll talk more about those ones later. Overall, the game felt very Backrooms-esque, which was perfectly fine by me, because those games get crazy popular. Now it was time to start work on the actual mascot of my mascot horror game. So I opened up Blender and started blending? I don't know, I still don't know how to use Blender, but I made this fella and I think he'll do just fine. Because it's a mascot horror game, I also needed to add a ton of these workplace safety posters. Every other game seems to have them, so I should probably add them as well. This meant that I had to come up with a name for the meat guy. Now, you'd probably expect me to call him something stupid like Meaty the Meat Man or Meaty Weedy, but since I'm not dumb and I'd never come up with a name that generic and basic, I decided to call him Chuck Steak. Yeah, just like the actual cut of steak. I then made him into a marketable 2D character and I pasted him on the posters, which I'll spread all over the map. Then I had to make some animations. I used Mixamo to make his animations because I do not know how to rig in Blender and I did not want to do any work myself. The AI for him was also a pain to do and I spent a lot of time trying to get it to work. I ended up figuring it out with a couple tutorials and now he's fully functional. I made it so that he just random roams around the map and when he sees the player, he chases you. It's not really all that scary, but it'll do for now. At this point, however, the game was just a walking simulator with a stupid slab of meat chasing you around, so we needed something else to spice it up. I added some tension building triggers and a few different meat related objects. I also wanted a way to integrate meat grinders into the game, so I figured there was no better way to do it than to actually have the meat grinders grind up some meat collectibles. So I placed three different meat grinders in the main room, and the three meat grinders are each labeled with a corresponding chunk of meat that is hidden around the map. Once you find the meats, you grind them all up, and they'll spit out keys that'll unlock this door. However, there were still a few silly bugs when I tried to set this up in blueprints, so I called up my best pal Stop Shut and told him to come fix my code. Guys, uh, today I'm with Goose Studios. I'm helping him out with some blueprints. Go subscribe to Stop Shut right now. After we got that working, I only had 30 minutes left to finish the game. Pretty much all I needed was an ending, so I just sped ran making an end screen, as well as a main menu. I also decided to call the game Minced, because... I don't know, it just... it just felt right. And just like that, I had a completed mascot horror game, equipped with a large liminal facility, a marketable mascot, and a million and one workplace safety reminder posters. I mean, it's perfect! If you want to play it for yourself, the link to my itch.io page is in the description below. I asked some of my players how they enjoyed it, and this is what they said. What would you rank the game on a scale from 1 to 12? Honestly... Combined with like the meat, like just so much meat in my face throughout the whole game, I would say 12 in my opinion. And what do you think of Chuck Steak as a mascot? Other mascots, they try to appeal to children and be scary and it just doesn't mix well, but Chuck is just like straight, just meat in your face and he he's just a scary classic monster and I think, I think he's good, you know, honestly better than most I've seen. How does this game compare to other mascot horror games? You know, most of them, it's better than, it's better than most of them in my opinion, but you know, there's some of them, such as basic scenario at filmmaking where it just, you know, it, it can't just top that, you know, it's like, but it's close. It's definitely up there. And did you like the location of the meat? The meat location was definitely the highlight of it. It, it was like a uh, advanced garden of Ban Ban. Uh, 
and I assume if you put more time into it, it would uh, look better. If you like this video, you can support me on Patreon. I currently have no Patreon members, but hey, that means you can be my first. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe!